Hello everyone. In this video I want to prove inclusion exclusion principle in the case when I have two finite sets. And why I'm using this proof? Because uh, I want to first prove show like this example because this is a basic example. Then I'm going to show this for three sets. And based on three sets I will show how to prove this when we have uh, not two, not three, but n number of sets. So let's start first with this proof. Uh, let's first consider and assume that uh, A and B are disjoint. So when A and B are disjoint, it means the intersection is empty set. But we know that A and B is finite. So let's assume that uh, cardinality of A is n and cardinality of B is k, where n and k are natural numbers. They can be natural numbers or uh, zero. So what does it mean like cardinality of A is uh, N? It means that A consists of elements A1, A2, and up to An. Uh, cardinality of B is K, so it means we have elements B1, uh, B2, up to Bk. And when we're going to take the A union B, it's going to be clear that we will get the element A1 up to AK, up to AN, then B1 and up to BK. And since A and B is disjoint, uh, there is no common element. So, and then by definition of uh, cardinality, if you will consider A union B, you can count that you're going to have exactly like N plus K element because we're going to have uh, N distinct A's and K distinct B's. So it's equals N plus K. It's from one side, but from another side we have that N is cardinality of A. So it equals to cardinality of A plus K cardinality of B. Yeah, so when A and B is disjoint, what we get? We get that uh, cardinality of A union B is equal cardinality of A plus cardinality of B. Okay, so step one, we prove this formula. Why? Because uh, when A and uh, intersection B is empty set, we know the cardinality of empty set is zero, so we got exactly this formula. Okay, uh, we prove for this case, for first case, when A intersection B is, non -em is empty, then let's assume that uh, A intersection B is non-empty. And when A intersection B is non-empty, I want to prove this formula. I want to show that uh, cardinality of A union B is just cardinality of A plus B and minus the intersection. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to write A union B. And how it works in math? First, I solve simpler case. Then I'm taking extended version of the simpler case. And what I want to do, I want to use my simpler case. Uh, uh, I want to solve my a little bit uh, extended version by using simpler case. In simpler case, I had that A union B are disjoint. So let's say we have two sets. We have sets A and B. And this is going to be their union. How I can write A union B as disjoint, disjoint subsets? I can write them as A minus B. And you can see that this set is going to be A minus B. Why? Because A minus B is basically uh, all elements A and uh, no elements in B. And I will have uh, union B. Yeah, so this, mo uh, this cardinality can be write as A minus B union B. And then according to this formula, I will get this equals to uh, A minus B plus B. 
Why? Because A minus B intersection B is empty set. And uh, what is A minus B? A minus B is this part. So if I want this part complete to A, I want to add this subset A intersection B. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to have A minus B plus A intersection B. And since I add this number, I'm going to subtract this number A intersection B plus B. And then this set, uh, again, by this formula, is going to be just uh, cardinality of A. I will have plus cardinality of B and minus A intersection B. Yeah. So you can see I start with A union B and I end up uh, with cardinality of A plus cardinality of B minus the intersection. And we are done.